Welcome to this video um, on Munzer's higher level trigonometry. Uh, we should know how to evaluate without a calculator sine, cos, and tan of 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 45 degrees. In this question, we're asked to evaluate sine 15 degrees. Now, you could just sub this into the calculator and it will give you the answer in third form, but we could also use the knowledge that we have of 30, 60, and 45 to evaluate it. Because sine 15 degrees, will be the same as sine 45 degrees take away sine 30 degrees, because 30 take 45 is 15 degrees. Now, if we look at our rules here, we see we have a rule for working out the sine of A minus B. So in this case, A is 45 degrees and B is 30 degrees. So using this formula, we see that it's sine 45 cos 30 take cos 45 sine 30. Now we can evaluate each of these. If we're looking at the triangle above, we see sine 45 is 1 over root 2, cos 30 degrees, uh, root 3 over 2, take away cos 45 degrees, which is 1 over root 2, multiplied by sine 30 degrees, which is 1 over 2. Now at this stage, we could put this into the calculator and it would give us the answer, but we will keep with our maths to evaluate it out. We know we have the same denominator of 2 root 2, so we have root 3 take 1 over 2 root 2. We'd like to rationalize the denominator. Again, without a calculator, we'll multiply above and below by root 2. So on the top, we have root 6 take root 2, and our denominator is 2 times root 2 by root 2, which is 4. And that's our answer. Okay, in our second example, we want to evaluate tan of 105 degrees. 105 degrees will be 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. Now, tan is sine divided by um, cos of the angle. So it's sine 60 plus 45 divided by cos 60 plus 45. And we see above we have rules here for a sine A plus B and a cos A plus B. So we're going to use these rules to evaluate it. So our numerator would be sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. So that's sine 60 cos 45 plus cos 60 sine 45 degrees. And this has been divided by cos A cos B sine, take away sine A sine B. So that's cos 60 degrees cos 45 degrees take away sine 60 degrees sine 45 degrees. Now we'll use the triangles we have here, we'll evaluate each of these individually. So sine 60 degrees is root 3 over 2, cos 45 degrees is 1 over root 2, plus cos 60 degrees, that's a half, by sine 45 degrees is 1 over root 2. That's been divided by cos 60 degrees, which is uh, half by cos 45 degrees, which is 1 over root 2. Take away sine 60 degrees, which is root 3 over 2, times sine 45, which is 1 over root 2. Now we notice that root uh, 1 over root 2 is common in, in each part here, so we could um, divide everything by 1 over root 2, or multiply everything by root 2. And we have a simple fraction. We, we notice that on the top, uh, both parts have 2 as the denominator, and that's true on the denominator here. So we get root 3 plus 1 over 2, and 1 take root 3 over 2. Now we could stick that into calculator at this stage, and it would evaluate it for us, but we'll keep going without the calculator for the moment. So if we multiply above and below by 2, we see that this simplifies to root, two, root 3 plus 1, and 1 take root 3. We want to rationalize this denominator, so we multiply above and below by the conjugate of the denominator. That's 1 plus root 3. We notice at the top, actually, we have the same thing in each of them, so it's a, we're squaring root 3 plus 1. So square the first thing, multiply the two of them, double it, square the second thing. We notice underneath that our denominator is actually a difference of two squares, so it'll be 1 squared to take root 3 squared. So simplifying this, our numerator becomes 4 plus 2 root 3. And that's been divided by 1 take, uh, root 3 squared is 3, 1 take 3. So now we have 4 plus 2 root 3 
and divide it by negative 2. So it just gives our answer negative 2 take root 3. Uh, we could have found this error using the calculator, but that's... Thank you.